Hey guys, so I had my eye on this game since its launch. It's called Insurgency Sandstorm. It's been out on PC since December 2018, but got a console port in September last year, so it's still reasonably recent in the console market, and it doesn't really get much attention due to the media saturation of the likes of Call of Duty. I wanted to make this video just to draw another light on this title for those who follow the channel or folk who may see this and fancy a slower, more tactical thinking man shooter and want to experience something not Modern Warfare on console. If I had to describe Insurgency Sandstorm in one word, it would be intense. But I say that with positive enforcement. The game's atmosphere, albeit not as grandiose as the full-scale warfare of Hell Let Loose, this game still delivers an unrivaled realism on console, respective of its setting and environments. You'll be slowly clearing out towns and buildings with your chosen tactical setup, with your fingers firmly primed on the triggers as you eliminate AI or human players depending on your chosen game mode. Once the fragility of your life becomes apparent, that word tense hits home. It only takes a bullet or two to meet your maker, and the AI in particular take no prisoners and can embarrass you in an instant for any mistakes made. Now granted, the AI is not exactly groundbreaking here, but their presence and behaviour does enough to immerse you in the moment. They will communicate to one another, sometimes even taunting you, the player, and when it all comes together in an intense firefight to defend an objective as your dead teammate spectate, Insurgency Sandstorm definitely offers a worthy experience. I mentioned Hell Let Loose earlier, I love that game for its sense of spectacle, realism and team play. Well, Insurgency Sandstorm offers a relatable experience, albeit on a smaller scale. The team play is definitely a big feature here too, with full proximity chat between you, your teammates and even your enemy. This is the usual Russian roulette of randomness and humour. Brother, you aim was than my two year old boyfriend? Oh my god, you try and name this thing. I will and I will do it better. Oh my god, I am dead. Oh my god, they are downstairs, they are downstairs, my friend. We are back in business, my... Let's fucking go. We must pick the cotton from the cotton field. Alright, let us move to Bravo, my brothers. Wait. Move to Bravo for Allah. Haha, <laughs> brilliant. Those guys were cracking me up. A special mention is deserved for the sound design. If you've got a decent gaming headset, you'll be spoilt here. Pump the volume on that bitch up and behold the violent reality of insurgent combat. I need a gun on this position. Jason, this is observant. Cover me! You can use sound to pinpoint the exact position of the enemy. All sounds are affected by distance, occlusion from walls, objects and the environments. 
Sometimes just sitting still and listening can give you all the intel you need to locate your enemy with precision. The sound in this game is some of the best I've heard in recent times. If you've got 3D audio available to you, I'm sure you'll appreciate this game. Being a realistic military first-person shooter, there's no expense spared on weapon modeling, variety, ballistics, and details. It's all here to enjoy, and there's lots of variety to explore during your time with the game. There's plenty of maps and modes, both with AI and PvP respectively, so there's a reasonable amount on offer here, especially if you can find the game in a sale. Sadly, as of the time of making this video, Insurgency Sandstorm still has no crossplay, so player bases are strict to their platform. Not a game breaker, but a shame consoles at the very least couldn't crossplay between one another. If I was to draw criticism, it would be the lack of progression in the game. If you're accustomed to other well-known shooters on the market, then the levelling of weapons and gear to unlock subsequent attachments is a familiar trait that is sadly missing here. There is positives to be taken from this though, as typically if you come into a game of this nature late, you can often feel overwhelmed behind the current metas. You won't have any of the new shiny trinkets that increase your chances of success, and this can create an imbalance in the community. Well, in Insurgency, all weapons and attachments are unlocked right out of the box, so everyone has access to everything immediately. As I said, if you're someone who enjoys the progressional unlock systems and reward-based gameplay loops in other games, this will disappoint you. But if that doesn't affect your enjoyment, then Insurgency otherwise offers a unique enough experience to fulfill your military shooter itch. Anyhow, I'll leave you for a few minutes to enjoy a few slices of uninterrupted gameplay. I advise turning up your volume to experience a taste of Insurgency's atmosphere. See you in a few. Changing mags. Damn. <laughs> Guys, don't stick around. Even now, over a year into the game's cycle on console, there is an active player base here. Like Hell Let Loose, there will always be a community that resonates more with tactical shooters over the likes of Call of Duty, and Insurgency Sandstorm is no exception. I had no trouble finding a match, so it's never too late to get involved. Well, that wraps the video guys. If you've enjoyed this, do me a solid and hit the thumbs up. Stay safe, and I'll hopefully catch you in the next one. Peace.